Hello everyone, it's Mr. Stubstep, and today I have a video that isn't going to be a brand new topic, but I thought it was a topic that's worth discussing. So I just have this one package today, and hopefully this video should be a little bit shorter than... Sorry, I was a little tangled up. Hopefully this video is a little bit shorter than, you know, some of my other videos, even though most of my videos aren't super long. I did order this off of eBay. So what prompted me to do this is... Basically, I went to my LGS like I always do when, you know, new stuff comes out. Generally, I go to my LGS at least every Friday, sometimes more throughout the week. And I went to go find the new EV tins because I'm like, oh, let me open those EV tins. It'll be awesome. And they were charging 20. Oh, my gosh. See, tape on the top loaders. Now I can't use this top loader anymore. Hopefully, I didn't damage the cards. But um, I guess I could have used the knife or whatever, but I'm a little bit lazy when it comes to stuff like that. And I went to go get the EV tins. And... He was charging $25, which isn't ridiculous, but it is over the normal $20 MSRP. And unless I'm like super desperate for a product, like it's some type of premium box or something like that, then I'm generally not going to pay, you know, over retail for that product. And, you know, a lot of times it's good practice just to kind of wait and be patient. But sometimes I'm just really impatient when it comes to this stuff. You know, you just want to get it so you can knock it out. If you have a spreadsheet or a checklist or an app. You just want to be able to check it off. So I made the decision to just buy the individual promos. And I'm going to be honest, I've watched probably a dozen openings of these tins now. And I think the only YouTuber that I saw get decent pulls from the tins was Twice Big Jake, which his luck is uh, actually pretty notorious, especially when he's doing his, um, he does the, the series where, you know, people vote on what he wants to open the, the community portfolio. And so I made the decision to just buy these promos. I made the decision that day that instead of spending $75 on three tins, which, you know, contain the 12 packs and these throw three promos, I decided to get all three of these promos for $14.95 on eBay. I should have had delivery times already, which you could argue is pretty expensive for these three promos. They are Evolutions, so, you know, they're going to have a little bit of extra popularity. Generally, these V cards, you know, they end up being bulk V cards, especially the promos. So they end up usually being a dollar for a while. And then, you know, as time goes on, they might, you know, increase slowly. These should have came straight from the tin. So actually, overall, not bad quality on these. There's a weird cutting on some of these corners, but it's to be expected. So I just want to discuss, you know, what products is it worth, you know, just buying the individual cards? Because I, I enjoy opening at least one of every product, but I mainly am doing that to get the promos within those products. And like the thing is 75 bucks. And you can always pull something great. You know, I could pull an alternate art or something from those packs. Or $15 guaranteed get the promos. There's always the argument of you could just buy all the singles that you want and be happy that way. But there is just a magic to opening packs. And the feeling of opening a pack and getting that chase card or getting that really rare card, I think it beats, you know, buying any single. You know, when it comes to me getting close to completing a set, I do just buy out the singles for the rest. Because... It's a quicker way to do it, and it's just way, way less expensive. So I feel like in certain circumstances, it makes a lot of sense. Could I have waited, you know, a week? Actually, most recently when I went to my LGS, he was now selling these tins for $20, which he probably did that because he had them at $25 and nobody was buying them because I only got four packs in them, so they should retail for $20. So he moved them back down to $20. You know, thinking back, should I have just got them or waited? Sure. But Pokemon has so many upcoming products coming out, I just wanted to knock these out. So went on eBay, looked for a Bite Now listing, and somebody had them for 15 bucks. So $5 per card, or $14.95, which you could argue is a little expensive for these cards. But then again, even if you get one tin at MSRP, it's $20. So let me know how you guys decide, uh, you know, which which uh, products to buy and then, you know, which singles to buy. I know for like within sets, within sets it makes a lot of sense, but then when it comes to promos... You know, do you just buy the individual promos? Do you even collect promos? I know there's a lot of people out there that don't even care about promos. I've found myself with a lot of Sword and Shield promos now. So I'm actually wanting to, I don't know if I'll ever complete it because there are some pretty pricey promos, but I'm probably going to end up getting a binder eventually and start slotting away my promos like officially because I normally just put them at the end of my Sword and Shield um, binder sets, but I might actually just get a separate binder altogether for promos. So let me know what you guys think. Did I make the right decision? Did I make a poor decision? You know, if I waited, you know, another month or two, these probably would only be a couple bucks a piece. But, you know, I want my Evolutions now. So, yeah, that's pretty much all I have for this video. Please let me know what your thoughts are and I guess where you draw the line when it comes to products like this, whether or not to buy the full product or just get the singles. And then when do you stop 
buying sealed product and just get the singles that you want. So yeah, please, I love having discussions with y'all. I love replying to comments because it's really fun and it's just nice to engage with y'all because a lot of you, you know, we have similar interests and stuff. So yeah, that's pretty much all I have for this video. Really simple eBay order. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. It's your second video of mine. Consider subscribing. If you like what you saw, leave a like. And if you don't like what you saw, give me some feedback down below on how I can improve. And yeah, oh, I didn't actually mention my favorite out of these. So Flareon is my least favorite out of the original Evolutions. It used, Jolteon used to be my favorite, and then it became Vaporeon because I just love bulky Pokemon and like bulky water types is a pretty common archetype. But out of these artworks, I actually have to give it to the Flareon. That is a really cool artwork. So yeah, thanks again for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video.